All right. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good, good. So let's look out there at the World Wide Web and say to everybody, Happy Father's Day, right? Happy Father's Day. Thank you for joining me in that. Because today we give thanks to God, our Heavenly Father, for giving us a lot of good helpers, right? Our fathers, our grandfathers, uncles, and really any, any man that provides that guidance, that love, to uh, children, right? So we give thanks to God. So today I was thinking about this. I'm thinking, you know what? What reminds me of both my dad, oh, who, by the way, he's up in heaven with Jesus right now, right? Living with Jesus. What reminds me of my dad and then what also reminds me of our heavenly father? So I got these three. It's called the three B's, okay? The three B's, bread, baseball, and Bible, so let's explore that. So the first one is bread, right? So why does this remind me of my dad? Because I got to tell you, my dad was a hard worker. He worked so hard for our family. Uh, he worked for Baltimore Gas and Electric Company. And back in the days when they would put the stirrups on and climb up the poles to fix the, fix the electricity lines. And he worked very hard. And why did he work hard? So he could put bread on our table, right? Food. So that also maybe I could have clothes to wear so that I had shoes on my feet, so my dad worked hard. And this reminds me of God, our Heavenly Father, because in the Lord's Prayer, what do we pray? Our Father who art in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And it reminds us that God provides everything for us, right? Like right now, go like this, everybody, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Wasn't that air great? God gives us the air, the oxygen to breathe, food to eat clothing, shelter. God, our Heavenly Father, blesses us with all that. So that's the first B, bread. All right, here's the second one, baseball. Now, some people are probably like, what does baseball have to do with the Bible? Well, I'm not sure I'll keep exploring that, okay? But why does this remind me of my dad? When I was a little boy, I played baseball. And I got to tell you, my dad was an Uber driver before we even had Uber. Yeah, because he would take me everywhere. He'd take me to practices. He'd take me to games. And remember, he's working hard, and he was really tired and busy as a dad. But he always took the time to care for me, to support me while I played baseball. So again, what's that got to do with God, our Heavenly Father? Well, <clears throat> God, our Heavenly Father, is like all-powerful. But I got to tell you, I think he's awfully busy every day, don't you think? God, our Heavenly Father. I mean, look, he's got to listen to everybody's prayers. And could you imagine if everybody's praying at the same time? I mean, that's amazing. He can listen to them all, right? And he's busy. And no matter how busy God, our Heavenly Father, is, he always takes the time to listen to us and care for us and love us and be with us no matter where we're going. You know, probably God, our Heavenly Father, he's an Uber driver too, right? Yeah, because no matter where we go, he's right there next to us and loves us through life. And then the third B, the Bible. The Bible. You know who gave us this Bible? God, our Heavenly Father, right? Yeah. And what's amazing about the Bible is through these words, these words. And we're taught that the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us full of grace and truth. You know what the word of God is? Another name for the word of God? You know who that is? Jesus. See, God, our Heavenly Father, gave his son for us to suffer and die on the cross and rise from the grave so that we can have hope. And through these words, we learn that. And my dad, my dad, my earthly dad, he took me to Sunday school. He took me to church. He read me Bible stories. He taught me about God through these words. And through these words, we're given that hope of salvation. And guess what else? In here, we not only read about God, our Heavenly Father, Jesus, his son, but we're also reminded that we have extra special powers beyond superpowers because God has given us the comforter, the Holy Spirit, who is right there inside of you right now. I can see the Holy Spirit right there. Yeah, look, I can see the Holy Spirit on a smile on your face. Absolutely. The Holy Spirit is in us. So through the Bible, we come to know God. And he calls us to be 
his people. And I love that last verse. Let me see if I get this right, Pastor. I think it said, go back to your home and proclaim God's all that God's done for you. Yeah, go back to your home and proclaim all that God has done for you. So look, we can go in our little houses today for Father's Day as we celebrate. Remember the three B's. Bread, God always looks after us and provides everything for us. Baseball, you could really fool some people today. Hey, what's baseball got to do with church and God? Oh, because God always takes time to listen to us and cares for us. And thanks be to God, the Holy Bible. Will you do that for me today? Spread the three B's, everybody. The three B's. To that we say amen. And the people of God always say amen. amen. Thank you. You may go back and join us in the singing of the next hymn, Abide With Me.